Short one. I was invited by a young man that have a school project, and fortunately, he asked me to be interviewed to help him with his school project. And of course, I said yes. So I'm about to go and meet with them now. And yeah, he asked me a few questions about being a lifeguard. I'm not a lifeguard, but I've been in lifeguard situations. I'm trained to save lives at sea, so I may not particularly be exactly the person for the role I definitely think I can answer a few questions in regards to the topic so let's go and meet them Peterson, born and raised in St. Martin. What is your occupation right now? So my occupation right now is a marine electrician and a videographer. How long have you been in lifeguard? So as somebody trained to be a lifeguard, I've been trained for about 11 years now, but I've been in like a lifeguard situation for about 13 years already. How many people did you say from drowning before? Um, from drowning, I would say about three people. Okay. How, how many diplomas do you have? So I have two diplomas. I have my A swimming diploma from when I went to primary school in St. Dominic. And I have my rescue swimmers diploma from my training when I work on boats. Okay. Where did you learn to swim? I learned to swim right in Simpson Bay when I was young and then when I went to St. Dominic Primary, we all went to swimming class, so I learned to swim there a little bit as well. Do you like being a lifeguard? I do like being a lifeguard. You know, it's a lot of responsibility, but you know, it, it, it's nice to be able to, to help people and give back. Are there many lifeguards in the market? Um, Lifeguards, like on the beaches, they aren't, they aren't any. St. Martin is a weird place. We have 37 beaches and none of our beaches have a specific lifeguard. But we have a lot of people trained to save lives if, if somebody needed a lifeguard. So that's a good thing. How, how do it feel to save lives? Um, honestly, when you save someone's life, you don't really reflect on it then because it's about the person you saved. You know, you're more worried about how they feel and 
are they okay? So you don't really think about yourself in, in those moments. It's not really about you. When you do that. But it's, you know, it's just good that you have the skills and you're in a place that you can use them to help people. You know, so it's, um, it's, it's a really good feeling. Is it a lot of anxiety when you save a life? Um, a little bit. You know, because it is a lot of responsibility, you know, and a lot of times too, you or one other person are equipped to actually do something about the problem and you have to make good decisions back to back to back so that you could get a good result so a little bit of anxiety but that's why you train you know every time you go and train you prepare yourself and anxiety get less and less and less so it's the same with school the more you study for your test when it's time for the test you less and less and less stress and worry what school did you have to go to to become a certified lifeguard so initially so i'm a, a surfer for about 14 15 years so that's where i learned to save lives because i'm always in the water i'm always in rough seas and then when i went to work on the boat part of your training is to learn how to rescue someone swim them to safety and stuff like that thank you for the information for the in for the advice no problem my pleasure I guess school project interview hopefully not the last I love the fact that you know I've, I've made myself approachable so people are comfortable you know like if you have a cool school project and you need a, a cool guy to do your report on send me a DM or whoever let me know but yeah just always cool to give back and you know be part of the community so I hope he does really good on his project Cohen thanks for watching guys later <laughs>